Hey guys, welcome back to another Week in Wednesdays. Although it's not actually Wednesday, this is last week's, whichever way is backwards, last week's Week in Wednesdays as I was still on holidays. So I apologize for that, but nevertheless, you are still getting the Wicked Wednesday tutorial. And I have some exciting news. Well, exciting news for me may not interest you at all, but I have got my hands on some silicon and I am super duper 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 excited. That was one too many dupers, but I am nevertheless super excited to get started on using this. I feel like it is just that one step above gelatin. It just takes being able to make prox pro proxetics. I can't even speak today. Prosthetics to the next level and continue on with improving my techniques. So I have gone out and got this today from Scotty's Makeup and I will be teaching myself how to do that. But getting on to the topic of today, I am going to be teaching you another, another beginner special effects or just simple special effects effect? tutorial for you. I will be teaching you how to create blisters on the skin. For this you will need latex, um, you will need Vaseline. I have one of these syringes, there is nothing in the top of that. Trust me, I would not be using it if it did. I hate needles, just creeps me out looking at them. So if you can get one with a finer point, go for it. This is a reasonably fat chunky end. It's just what I could get my hands on. You'll need that to insert the liquid. You will also need some kind of powder to put over the latex to stop it from sticking together. I will be creating this on the palm of my hand as it is easiest for me to do this, but it can be created anywhere on the body. Just remember with latex, if you are not careful with it, if you get it on your clothing, on the floor, it is ruined <laughs> and it is not fun to try and clean up. Also with latex, any little hairs anywhere, doesn't matter, you might think there's not a hair there, but as soon as you put latex on it, you will, not as soon, but when you go to remove the latex, you will find out that there is definitely hair there and it is not thrilling. Let's get started. I also forgot to mention guys, you will need some tweezers or a pin or something that you can peel back the latex with once you have fully got all your layers with and of course a makeup sponge or a brush that you are willing to throw out at the end of this creation as latex is not kind and will not come out. Okay guys to get started I'm just gonna put a little bit of latex onto the board. So first of all you're gonna want to decide where you're gonna want to put the blister. I'm gonna put it on the back of my hand just here but you can literally put it absolutely anywhere. So just remember after each coat of latex, you will want it to dry thoroughly. Otherwise the latex, when it gets too many layers up on it, takes way too long to dry and it will ruin the whole look of it as there will be splotches and blobs and it just won't look 100% realistic. So to speed this up you could use a hair dryer but I am just gonna let it air dry. It's reasonably warm in my room. I have just had the heater on so I'm just gonna let that dry. You can blow on it but the hair dryer is probably the easiest option. It doesn't take that long to dry but you will want to apply a fair few coats of it just so the Vaseline or whatever it is you're putting in underneath it does not seep out. And that's already dry, as you can see it's all the way clear, it just has a bit of a shine to it. So you just want to continue to repeat that step until you have about five or six layers of dried latex on there. So now that you've got all the layers that you want done and dried, don't forget that latex is quite sticky and will stick back onto itself if it does come in contact. So I will just be putting a very light powder over the top. I'm using just a foundation. You could use talcum powder or any other clear makeup setting powder. So just lightly dab that all over the top just to get the tackiness off it. So when you do peel some of it back, it's not sticking on itself. 
So now that you've got that on there, it kind of takes a little bit of the shine away from it, but not too much. You're going to want to create the liquid that's going to go inside of this. So for this, I'm just going to be using some latex. Not latex, what am I talking about? Vaseline. It says right there, I'm an idiot. So just take a decent scoop of that. And I'm going to be making it look kind of like a blood blister. I'm just adding a little bit of thick blood, but non-thick blood, any kind of colouring, even just food dye would should work. Just remember you don't want to add too much liquid to the actual thing, else it will make it runnier. Same with Vaseline, it does melt slightly under heat. So just remember that once it is under the latex, there is a chance that it will start to melt and become a little bit more liquefied. So I think I want a little bit more. Maybe I'll add a little bit of liquid blood to that. So I'm just using the Ben Nye Zesty Mint Flavoured Mouth Blood. I'll show you there. Stage blood is what it's called, not mouth blood. Silly me. So now that that's all done, I love that sound. Open the syringe. Put this all in there. So I apologize guys, my camera stopped recording and I did not realize. So I am just one step ahead of you guys. So I have just pulled back the latex a little bit until I have created a hole, which you can see, oh, if I get it in the center, right in the center there, there's a hole in the latex. So just wanna lift that up a little bit and just create a bit of a hole. Now you just wanna put the syringe, oh, if I can. There we go, that one worked for me, didn't it? Look at that, there we go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna wipe away where the entrance to that was. So the other two did not quite work as well. I'm just gonna see if that will focus for me. There we go, you can see the other two didn't work quite as well. They first one kind of held its shape, but it had a massive opening. It just doesn't look very good. Now this one, I will just gently put another bit of latex over the hole to begin where it was filled, just so it will keep itself in there. But I am reasonably impressed with that. If I can get it on the side, it is really risen off. A little bit more. You might have to do a couple of layers of that. And just let it dry. Okay, so there you can see guys, the Liquid latex is not quite dry just around the edge, but you do get the gist of what it will look like. I wasn't happy with either of these two just here, so I decided to just empty them. Which brings me to my next part, which is one of my favorite things to do, but I will do it right at the end for you guys. So if you wanna see this bad boy popped, watch all the way to the end and I will show you then. So there you go guys, that is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed watching my tutorial. I hope you guys all give it a go. If you do, I'd love to see your creations. So please feel free to tag my Instagram name, which will be down in the description below in any of your creations, because I would love to see you guys all have a go at them. So if you are planning on wearing it for say Halloween or something like that, always give it a test out before. Same with latex, always have a swatch test on your skin before you go applying it all over because you may be allergic to it. And don't forget with the removal of latex, if, it is too, if there is too many hairs caught around the actual latex, or it is hurting too much to get off, if you do have some isopropyl mirror state, nearby if you just put that underneath as you're brushing it off if not maybe some ba baby oil or some kind of oil I haven't tried baby oil but I do know that isopropyl mirror state is quite similar and if you do just gently work away at it it should come off relatively easy but because there isn't many hairs on the back of your hand or the palm of your hand that is why I chose to show you there if you are really dedicated to the look, I would almost recommend shaving the patch before you do it, especially if it's on the arms or the legs and you have got quite hairy arms or legs. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial, guys. I really enjoyed doing this look for you. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up. 
If there are any other suggestions for tutorials you'd like to see me do, please leave them in the comment section below and I will try to create them for you. And don't forget to come back next Wednesday for another tutorial that I will have in store for you. And by next Wednesday, I mean tomorrow because this one is almost a week late. So lucky you guys, you will get two tutorials in two days and three videos in three days as I will be putting up, I say will be, but it will already be up by the time that you have viewed this, my Miss A haul video. So please go over and watch that one if you haven't already, but I'll see you next time. Bye!